Have you figured out your niche? Are you helping adding value to other people's lives? Then you're in the right place. Welcome to Munira's Musings with your host, co-author of Conversations with Top Real Estate Investors, Volume 3, Munira Zahabi. Greetings from Chicagoland. This is Munira from Munira's Musings. I have my guest here, Christy Warwick from Alabama. Hi, Christy. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you for having me. For those of you who are watching, please say thank you that you are watching us. If you haven't ever tuned into Munira's Musings, this is my second go live on Facebook. But Munira's Music is a show that I created where I know that there are people out there who are adding value and enhancing other people's lives. And so it is, this is my way of exposing them and promoting them and, you know, by interviewing them because I know there's people out there who need people like Christy that are here today. Um, I am the niche navigator. I am Munira Zahabi the niche navigator and I help people find and get their niches. As a coach, um, I find that we come out of the coaching uh, seminars and coaching industry with so much material that we li literally have to find our way through the weeds. So I decided after my journey that I was going to be the niche navigator and I help Literally, I work with people and I help them find their niche. And those people that have worked with me can vouch for it. But I, if you are in, if, so my guest here today is a um, spiritual healer and she believes in miracles. Um, and so, you know, most people are skeptical and don't want to hear about that. They sometimes scoff at it, sometimes I do too. But I would love for you to tell me what is it that you do and why miracle? Yes. So I, um, I work with energy and everything is energy. So when, when you work with energy and you're connected with that highest source, uh, it, it, it's just amazing what can happen. And so even during this video today, I will be sending out any types of frequencies or energies that are best for anyone that, that chooses to receive. So they can actually feel that if they, if they really, uh, you know, like I said, choose to receive that. So, but uh, I, I get very excited when I work with people and I was working with a gentleman earlier, but right before the show today. And the way that it works is um, like I work remotely and distantly with people all over the world. And to me, being able to do that, that's, I mean, that would can be considered a miracle. You know, there's miracles all around us. It depends on what it is that people define as a miracle, really. Because like I said, you can look around you, there are miracles everywhere. So, but when someone actually experiences something physical for themselves, that's when they're really like, oh, wow, that's a miracle. So when you look at these true miracles that, uh, that can happen, like I said, energetically, because like I said, I was working with a, a gentleman earlier today, and he's an older man, and he, uh, even after our first session last week, it was amazing the, the progress that he's made just in one week. And then what was done today was even better. I mean, he went out last week after our session, after having difficulties with mobility and things like that. He went out and did a yoga and Zumba class. And then he went out the next night and went dancing for two hours. And he's still feeling much better than he was. And so it's, it's amazing to be able to help people. And that's what I'm here for, is to help people to transform their life for the better to help people with being free of that suffering and struggling because I've been there and I, I, I don't believe that anyone truly has to go through that. So we, there's ways of changing that there's ways of energetically because everything is energy energetically, anything can be changed. And if you're on a certain path and let's say it's your soul path or your soul's mission, this or that, there are, 
actually ways to go about it and, and be more comfortable in your life. You don't have to go through it and struggle just because you have a certain mission or whatever. You can actually do some spiritual petitioning, which I do help with as well. We can go up and say, hey, how can we change this, you know, and to where it is, a, you know, to have a more comfortable life, because I believe that everyone is here to to live a life that is more joyful or that is more, at least, you know, a happier life. So now then you go on to, well, you know, what programming can be changed, because everyone has these beliefs and programs. And some of them aren't even theirs from this lifetime, you know, and so some of them haven't been inherited or from the past, but anything can be changed energetically. And so that's the beauty of it. And I love helping people and, and actually helping them and being there with them to inspire them and also to, you know, to get that, that feedback from them, those amazing results that they experience. That's so awesome and profound. So tell me, um, how did you find your niche? Well, you know, I went through some health stuff of my own. And so once I got past that and, and went through a lot of energy healers and things like that, I figured out that I was learning the whole time. You know, I was just learning all of this. So that was kind of my wake up call, or I, I call it a course correction, if you will. And so I... Yeah, I just love that I was guided to do that. So I'm, I'm grateful for what I did go through in order to get to where I am today to help others. So a lot of, you know, even if I don't go, haven't been through exactly what they've been through, I still have that, um, that compassion and, and a, somewhat of an understanding, at least of where they're coming from, um, as far as anything that's going on in their life. You know, I'm, I'm very compassionate about that, but I'm also, like I said, I, I love to inspire people and, and empower people because I, I believe that we all have it within us somewhere to do anything. Uh, you know, anything is possible. That's one of my things that I, I truly believe in. And it's a universal law. Anything is possible. So, you know, it's, it's amazing what can happen, especially when you, when you're working with energy and it, it's just, like I said, it, it led me to where I am today. So I went through what I went through so that I can go on and help people, hopefully to relieve them of what they, you know, they're going through or experiencing, but also possibly to help people with you know, like making those changes before they get to that big, you know, half, you know, so that they don't have to go through that, that pain or suffering, you know, if, if they haven't already been through that. And the people that are going through that, to give them hope, to let them know that they don't, that doesn't have to continue for them. So many people go to physicians, like this gentleman that you spoke about, you know, I mean, he must have received a whole list of issues that he has from a physician. Mm -hmm. And there is a choice about when you want to go to a physician or you want to come and do the healing through energy like you do. Um, how is that different? And why not the physicians? I mean, because what I'm going for is the skeptical. People yeah. are skeptical about the natural medicines. Mm -hmm. I'm hearing now more people are coming into natural medicines, but more so the population, oh no, we'll go to the physician and take care of. Yeah. <clears throat> so, so how do you change minds? Well, and, and in fact, some people, like that, doctors are wonderful and they are there for a reason. They're, they're here for a reason. But what happened like for me for example i went to a lot of doctors and they at the time didn't know how to help me they didn't know what to do you know even any and all testings that i went through or whatever there wasn't much that came back that gave them indication of how to help me the best and so that's when i went in search of energy healing i did go to doctors first and so uh, I, I do believe that some people are meant to, to go the path of, you know, continuing to see um, doctors. 
and because that's their belief systems. So that's how they're programmed and that's how they're going to respond. They're going to respond well to that, that medical care. And that's awesome. That's great for them. And I am so happy for them. But those that have been through that and keep getting, you know, more medications and more medications and it's, and it's, and if it's not helping them, then they are looking for alternative ways to receive that help. And so that's when they go in search of alternative medicine, whether it be through supplements or energy healing, whatever it is. So like I said, it's for, I think energy healing is for people that are waking up, is for people that are realizing that there's another way. And it's for people, not only just with health issues though, it's people, I help people with relationships, you know, help to healing uh, the energy there between, you know, with the relationship. There's many families that I've helped with resolving issues energetically so that it can resolve, you know, physically in this world. So, and then also there is, there's all kinds of, of things that, you know, helping people with finding jobs or aligning them with their, with their purpose so that they can find the job that is, is best for them. So I help with not just healing, you know, as far as physical healing, but there's all kinds of things in, in life other than just your physical body. You know, you've got your, your relationships, you've got your career, you've got your purpose. I help people with their spiritual gifts, you know, just to enhance and increase and expand those even. So I help with all areas. So let me ask you one thing. You, it writes into the segment. So I work with a lot of coaches who are still trying to find their means. How can you, because most of the people that are watching are coaches, how can you help this energy, how can your energy healing help the coaches? Well, you, it starts by, you know, clearing out those energetic blocks that they might have towards what it is that they're doing or, you know, clearing the way to, to getting more clients or, you know, you know, just kind of clearing that way to what it is that they're truly meant to do. What if what they're, they're coaching about, you know, we can do like a, um, like a life path score to see where does that score like out of a hundred as far as what they're doing and what it is that they're meant to do, or, you know, just to be more in alignment. So there's all kinds of energetic alignments that can be made, even for people that are coaches, you know, it, so if you just kind of, you know, what if you've got some areas that you feel are blocked? Because really, any and all blocks that we have, we pretty much, most of them have created ourselves by thinking that we have blocks. Because <laughs> yes. the more you think about something, the more it's going to come about, right? So, so yeah, so it's about clearing that out and really, and you, we can change belief systems and programming and actually... Yeah, there's all kinds of things. You've got thought forms and thought patterns. You've got, you know, these neuro pathways. You've got emotions that are involved. There's all kinds of things that are involved that can be worked with energetically to bring about more success in whatever area of your life that you're looking for that success in. Yeah, you know, you just hit hit the right thing because. Yes, as we, you are right, we, you know, it's all about mindset and we create the blocks that we don't want in our life, but they still keep coming and we keep, why is it happening? So like you said, it's bringing all the roadblocks in our life. Thank you for sharing. So how do, you said earlier that you were going to share this energy. Um, how do you do that? Okay, energy, like when I send out energies through videos, I do a couple of shows. I do videos for my own Facebook page. I do a video uh, show on the Akashic Academy called The Power of Energy Healing. So I have several shows that I do. And with those, the energies, um, the, the thing is intention. Your intention is very powerful. Okay, especially when you've cleared out the stuff that's <laughs> that was there, you know, that might have been in the way in any way, shape or form. So when that's cleared out and you have a clear path and you, you have this direct connection, your intention is very powerful. I believe that my intention is very powerful. 
and anyone's can be. So I don't, you know, I, I actually encourage other people to be in their power and to, to inspire them that they can do, you know, that their intention is powerful as well. So uh, what I do is I just, I can intend for people to receive whatever it is for their highest and best good, but I can send out energies or frequencies, even beliefs to be downloaded, integrated, and activated in the subconscious mind, like I said, that are for the highest and best good. And so like I have a whole list here of ones for to help with that beneficial abundance in their life. So I can actually go through the list now and send those out if any, you know, if you feel that that would be beneficial, if you'd like for me to do that. We would love to. So health and like you said, the, um, you know, abundance. Yeah. Yeah. So there's like a whole list. So you can, um, and what I tell people with when, you know, the power of I am is very, it's very powerful. So anything that comes after I am and whatever you say after that, that is, that is very powerful. But if you're to the point to where, if you say I am healthy and let's say that doesn't fully resonate with you for some reason, you can start by saying, I choose to be healthy because I choose is kind of like getting you to that point to I am. And so that's what I encourage people to do if they're, they're not totally resonating with saying those I ams. So I just do the overall, whatever's for your highest and best good to receive. And I have, like I said, a whole list here and I'll go through the list and you can receive these. If you're open to receive, just know that you can receive these live or on the replay. So we've got self-responsibility. There's a lot of selves here that are very important because we're talking about your, your power, your, you know, that I am. So self-responsibility, self-forgiveness, forgiveness of others, very important. Self-love, self-confidence, self-acceptance. Self-esteem, self-worth, self-compassion, self-empowered, self-awareness, self-respect, self-disciplined, self-trust, self-reliance, self-control. And then we go on to healthy, go on to gratitude, abundance, allowing, safe, supported, manifesting, expressing creativity, integrity, Healthy relationships with money, worthy, deserving, good enough, and success. So anyone out there that would like to receive those, and you will see, you know, if you don't already have them, of course, but it'll just strengthen them if you do. So we're just going to ask that any and all of those downloads that are for the highest and best good be sent out to everyone, like I said, live or on the replay. It'll be infused into the video. It'll always be there. And so, and this is just through intention. So I'm just sending those out to everyone that chooses to receive and they just have to say yes or be open to receive. Downloading, integrating, and activating the beliefs. And any and all surrounding and supporting beliefs, like I know how to be, I know how to have, I know, I know what that feels like, I know what that looks like, I know, that it is possible, any and all of those that are beneficial and any others that are supporting of those beliefs. Bringing in those frequencies. Every energy is frequency, so everything has a frequency. And bringing in those morphic fields, those are energetic blueprints. So bringing those in. Okay. And those will just keep coming in, you know, maybe after they're even watching the show, but the intention is set so that they will continue to receive those. And so I just want to make an intention too, also to clear away anything um, at, the, at the time when they're watching this. So to clear away anything that might be preventing them from receiving these things. So we're just going to ask that that be cleared out. Anything non-beneficial. Okay, and so that clearing will keep taking place as these come in and the, so that it'll be kind of like, like I said, that transformation. 
So you're transform transforming something that is non-beneficial to something that is beneficial. And I have a whole program designed around that too that I offer. It's a very um, intensive program. So, but I do offer individual sessions as well. So it's whatever they're, they're needing or wanting at that time in their life. Okay. And you can continue. That'll just keep coming in. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't know yeah. what I was to do. Yeah, it'll Thank just you. keep coming in. Thank you for this energy. I really am honored and humbled to receive them. So how do people find you? Okay, so I have a website, which is christywarnick.com. And so they can go there. It gives you all of my information as far as my my Facebook page, because I have a Facebook page, Christy Warnick, it's, it's a little dash, and it says Spiritual, Intuitive, and Energy Healer, or it's facebook.com slash Christy Warnick one. So that is on my website as well. If they go under contact me, it's got all of my information there. I've got a YouTube channel that's got over 100 videos there, and I've got, uh, like I said, my phone number's there, my email, so it's best to email me or message me if they'd like to contact me. And like I said, my, my website's got all of my sessions. It's got a whole uh, page about me. And just so if, you know, if they're curious about more to do about me. And so the, that's there. And I offer a couple of different programs that are available. And so there's all kinds of things there on my website. And on the homepage, there's actually some... Uh, that I have from the Balancing by Numbers um, book, it's uh, frequency numbers. So those are on the kind of the bottom part of my homepage, and anyone can use those. It's got some instructions there. So those are fun to play around with. So I like, you know, in, encouraging people to have fun with it, to get creative, you know? <clears throat> Thank you. So um, thank you so much for watching our show. <clears throat> Excuse me. I thank you for so much for watching our show and I appreciate Christy Warning for sharing the energy and sharing the tips that she talked about. For those of you who would like to subscribe and share this channel, we would appreciate it. This is Munira's Musings over and out. Thank you for listening to this episode of Munira's Musings with your host Munira Zahabi. If you enjoyed our show, please share and subscribe to this channel. And for more content, please join our Facebook group called Navigate to Your Niche.